The next movement is called Daughter on the Mountaintop. We use the same leg movement. We start low because we're going high. We bring the two hands up so that the right hand crosses in front of the left hand. That is so on either the left or the right side. And we complete the circle. Once again, it's done more with the wrists than with the arms. If the arms are used and flap wildly, there will be tension. And any tension will tend to close the meridian channels so that the chi will not flow through them the way that it should. Now we start high. And we start low, I should say, because we're going high. We come up and over. The right hand is outside. And notice when the two hands cross each other that they are facing each other. They are not pointed. They're not like arrows. They are facing each other. We can step forward or backward as we bring, bring it to a graceful conclusion. The most common mistake in Daughter on the Mountaintop is when people point their two hands and come down this way. Rather, the two hands face each other and they begin to come down with the fingers still pointing at the ceiling. On the right side, we begin low. Be sure that the wrists are cocked and that the hands very softly come across with the right hand outside and the left hand. 